Hey everyone, welcome back to another writing video. My name is Alyssa and this is my channel, She Wishy Writes. I hope you're all doing really well. I'm an indie author and have my books down in the description box below and would really love if you can help support by helping my sales grow as well as ratings and reviews on my books. And I have a new one coming out on May 23rd called A Mirror's Perspective of Acceptance and it is a short story collection in the front half and then in the back half is a poetry collection and I have a cockatiel and a tabby cat who's in the other room and Fruit Loops is going to be joining because he's feeling very cuddly right now but I have my goals set from May to August now um because we're partway through May so I decided to just add August in there and it's mainly three big goals one of them I'm going to be completing within the next couple of weeks, and that's going to be publishing Amir's Perspective of Acceptance on May 23rd. And so I just literally have published books, so I didn't take up much room writing the whole title down because it's kind of a long one. And the second one I've already started doing back like a couple of months ago, and that was starting to edit my Kyle's Purgatory book one because I do want to try and self-publish that this year. Um, hopefully on the sixth anniversary, which is going to be August August 8th of this year, but I'm not so sure. So I'm not putting out any dates yet for publication whatsoever because I don't know if it's completely ready yet um especially with some of the new ideas that I had in book three and how I realized there is a lot of things that I needed to wrap up and I think I kind of wrapped them up a little bit but I sped up the ending because I was really excited <laughs> that I was close to the ending of book three. So now I can go back to book one and actually do a thorough edit, which I should probably start doing just soon because I've been kind of lagging with writing and doing anything since I finished book three because that was my thing and I haven't really had another project. Um, I am going to add this down and then put an arrow because this needs to happen first and that is finish new book outline. So I have a new book that is originally titled The Granite Crimes and I'm not going to be using that title anymore because it's kind of changed from a crime mystery novel to a um, fantasy novel which kind of integrates one of the short stories that I had that I really wanted to integrate into a novel in some form and I am doing that with this one. It feels right and I'm just trying to do all the outlining that I can in this composition notebook that I'm dedicating for writing and literally I have this whole section here, that's just all my notes and my outlining. It's kind of a lot and what I'm doing is every three chapters that I outline the chapters with bullet points, I am going to be, after the third chapter, I'm going to be kind of writing out a rough zero draft sort of of those three chapters to get more of an idea of what I want happening in it and so far I'm just literally going on to the second page for chapter one and I'm going to work on that tonight a bit more and because I want to do some form of writing and reading today I'm listening to A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab and I'm on chapter two of that so I'm just going to be listening to that hanging out with Fruit Loops and outlining so I need to finish this first <laughs> um before I actually start writing the draft which is what I put first I said put or er, write the first draft of new book 
and that's why I put finish new book outline with an arrow. So those are my goals. I have published my short story and poetry collection, edit book one of Kyle's Purgatory, and also get a proof copy. Forgot to add that part. Um, just for fun for myself. And finish the new book outline, which this is kind of like a full on rough outline. And then I'll probably add more stuff into this notebook once I continue on with the series. And then I have write the first draft of this, which I can probably do in July. I kind of want to start it now, but I'm doing this kind of rough zero draft outline of the chapters, um, chapter by chapter, so that I can kind of step into the story a little bit without fully going into it. Um, but I do miss being able to open my laptop every day or every other day and just write and I need that kind of schedule again. So I'm hoping that getting back into this it can help me to write again as well as outlining my novel or not outlining, editing book one of my series which is a paranormal and dark fantasy series. Uh, I'm dealing with a lot of inner demons and self-confidence and loving yourself, your family everywhere, um, or everything that you should be grateful for and not just throwing it away, um, because you feel discouraged and that's kind of the gist of the underlining summary of what Kyle's Purgatory is about, but I haven't written a full summary. I'm gonna do that too actually. Just adding stuff onto my list of things to do. Right, rough draft summary for KP book one. Okay, so this is my list. Now almost a whole mini composition notebook page. And I am hoping that I can complete send a list by August and we'll just kind of see where we are there and again I add in August because we are 13 days into May and yeah so I hope you guys are doing well with your writing that's where I am with my writing I figured I would give a little bit of an update and yeah I've just been going ham with the outlining process I have so many note pages and ideas for this new world which is kind of fun because it deals with the fantasy island and it's kind of hidden like a hidden fantasy island within this world that we live in um so it's kind of fun to think about um anyways what are you guys working on what are the genres that you guys like to write in this one is going to be a fantasy but I don't know what age range it's going to be because the characters are a bit older like in their late 30s 40s and even 50s so I'm not really sure what age range like YA to adults this one go into um I'll find that out once I start actually typing this story up, which I'm excited to just get back into the typing because it's been a couple weeks since I finished book three, draft one, and I'm just looking forward to writing something new. And I've had this idea since 2019, so it is going to be based in 2019 for that specific reason. And it's going to be based in the summer because I did come up with it in the summer before my husband and I started dating, which is why it's kind of an important story to me. And I've always had like a little bit of it in my head and I did try writing it back when we started dating, but I couldn't get the ideas down the way that I wanted it to be. And I didn't know where it was going to go because it was still forming in my head and 
now I have more of an outlook on the whole story, like more of an overview look on the entire story, which is kind of exciting. So I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you to Fruit Loops for being a part of this video. There you go. You guys can kind of see him. I'm going to zoom up on him. He's finally being quiet, but thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to check out my new short story and poetry collection, A Mirror's Perspective of Acceptance. And that is coming out on the 23rd. So I would really love if you can help support and grow my author platform over on Amazon with reviews and ratings of my books, which will be down below. And this video is going out on Monday. So I'll see you again in the next video. Bye everyone. You want to say bye for lips? Nope, he's going to search. <laughs>